Yeah, so Sifensili Kumelo is is your name. Yeah, it's my real name. Uh, actually, you you look uh, you look beautiful. Like your words, I have seen your code. Thank you, <laughs> thank you so much. Can you introduce yourself to my audience? Okay, so my name is Sipesile Kumalo, and I'm a high school student, and I'm playing the nerd, playing the nerd quotes on Instagram. Yeah, that's so what me. Is, <laughs> what is what is it about? What, what why you write all the quotes? Why 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 you on who made you to write? Why you started that page? And what is your intention? And what is your goal? Oh, I'm so happy you asked that question. So. I started writing the quotes. So well, initially I started writing poems, but and then I stopped. But then a few years back, I started once more. It started as a way for me to rent my feelings out because I had no one to tell about all those feelings I had. So I just wanted to find someone who could relate to me. So then I decided to start this account yeah, it's been a long journey and I just had this aim to inspire people around me. I want to be able to let someone know out there that there's someone else who is feeling or going through whatever they're going through and that they are not alone. So that's my goal. Who is darling? Who's? Darling. Darling. Yeah, I saw uh, you saying your feelings and thoughts using the word called darling, darling at the beginning. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, it's just a way to, uh, to just personalize it. Like in other quotes I write, honey, darling, so just to make it nice, yeah. Just to get connected with the people who see that uh, code. Sorry? Just to connect with the people who uh, see that code, right? So yes. you use that that kind of words, okay? So so you you want support or you are giving support with your thoughts and feelings? You want support or you are giving support? I'm giving support. Okay, so... I see a lot of people giving you compliments, positive, uh, 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 positive response. How do you yeah. feel if you get if you get uh, positive thoughts for your thoughts? I feel so happy. I feel so it it makes me alive to know that there's someone out there who can relate to my words and actually use them in their lives. So it's just so it's so inspiring to know that I can be able to to make someone stay with my quotes yeah do you have a blog do I have what blog website a blog yeah yes I do have a, a website on it's in my bio but it's not it's just where I post my quotes but it's not exactly a blog what is your educational qualification? Um, I'm currently in grade 11. Okay. Yeah. You are from? I'm from South Africa. Um, South Africa. Johannesburg to be more specific. Okay, okay. So, feelings and thoughts, what do you think about this? Do you believe that everybody has the uh, same feelings and same thoughts that you have? Yes, I do think there are people out there who feel the way that I feel. Yeah, so that's why I write these quotes, to find someone who feels the way that I do. What is it, love? What is love? Yeah. I think for me, for me, um, love is love is a very complicated 
and sophisticated thing. Um, I, it's a very complex, what can I say? I can't exactly describe love, but because I've never experienced love. But I feel like love is looking at your parents and seeing them sacrifice every single thing that they have to make sure that you have an education, to make sure that you go back, um, you go to school with um, a full stomach, that you go to bed, not hungry, that they saw every single thing they have just to make sure that you have what you need. I think that that's love. Giving yourself to people and not expecting anything in return. Yeah. Okay. What is playing with nerds or nerd words? Playing the nerd. Yeah. Okay. Playing the nerd words. So the reason why <laughs> I use playing the nerd is because a lot of people have come up to me and said, okay, so before I knew you, you seemed like you were a nerd. Not that it's a bad thing, but they said that, okay, so it seems like everything that you do, it's, it's almost like you are a nerd, but once we get to know you better, we realize that you're actually not. So I just thought, okay, so people think that I'm playing the nerd before they get to know me. So that's why I took that name to use. What is the meaning of nerd? I don't know. First time I'm listening that word from you. I'm a writer. I have blogs too. I wrote a lot of uh, blog posts in my websites. But first time, yeah. what is nerd? N e r d. Well, in my understanding, a nerd is like a person who is into books, who is always who always wants to um, know more about everything. They like books. They like Everything, like, yeah, I can't describe, but yeah, that's just the way that I can say a nerd is a person that wants to learn, do books, do a lot of um, other things. But you describe well. Sorry? But but you describe well. You you, you write well, yeah. And you're saying you. you cannot, you cannot describe well. So... What do you what do you what do you think about words? How it actually affects uh, people? Um, you know, you are writing words, you are expressing your feelings and thoughts and telling to the world, and you are getting response for the words that you are expressing. What yeah. what actually words plays in uh, in the in in a person's life? You know, I think that words have a very um, big impact on how we live our lives and how we feel towards other people words have the ability to break or make someone if you can understand like for example if i can just right now i can insult you and say all these things about you you'll you'll feel you'll you'll feel um very what can i say hurt and you'll feel like, okay, this person is really hurting my feelings. But then if I can use my words in a good way and to inspire other people, then they can actually use those words to achieve their goals and actually do something good in their lives, which is why I chose not to, I prefer to write these quotes about self-love, to self, about love. And some of those quotes also talk about sometimes letting go of people that um, you love but cannot give you the love that you deserve. So, yeah, I think words have a very big impact on who we are as people. When you started playing with words? Yes. When you started playing with words? Yes. When? When you started is the question I'm asking you. When you started? Where, when I started playing with words, what happened? You're, you're expressing your feelings and thoughts yeah. using words. When you started yes. doing this, when you started I expressing started, your thoughts and feelings, yeah. It started originally in 2018. 2018, yeah. 
at the end of the year. But then back then I wasn't writing quotes or poems because I started writing a book first. And then, yeah, after that, I continued to write this poetry book that I have called A Thousand Kisses from a Thousand Roses, which is, yeah, that's where it all started originally. You are, you are an author. You wrote a book. Yeah, I wrote a book, but unfortunately, I haven't been able to properly publish it. But yeah, I just hope to publish it in the future. Okay, after publishing, send me the link. I'll share you, share that book link with my audience too. We should put it online. Okay. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, what made you to think about uh, some other feelings and uh, some other thoughts? You are writing for people, right? You're putting words in public. You're not putting that in your mind. You're expressing it. What? Yes. Why? What, what made yeah. So I'm a person, what can I say? I'm a person who, who doesn't do very well with expressing feelings towards somebody else. Um, I tend to keep my feelings inside. So I realized that I couldn't tell anybody about these feelings. So why not share them with people who at least I can say will relate to me? Because then the people around me, I felt that they wouldn't be able to understand my feelings, which, why, which is why I started this channel and these quotes. So, yeah. So, negative and positive, there are two things when you express your feelings and thoughts. Yes. So, you express both or you express only the positive feelings of yours? Um, I express both, but I choose to lean more to the positive because I mean there are those days where it won't, it won't always be shiny it won't always be happy so I prefer to write those I do have some quotes that are you know heartbreaking but I choose to to focus on the positive okay yeah so you just now you said that words actually affects people what words actually Words can uh, create, words, words can destroy. So you're both creator and destroyer. Yes. So in this, in this poetry book of mine, I do have some, I do have some poetry um, quotes that I could say that are negative, which is why I chose not to share some of them on the channel. But... I think that we should not filter them. I mean, it won't always be happy. It won't always be perfect. So I, I think we should just share both sides, negative and positive, to show that life is not perfect. There will be some setbacks. There will be some times where you feel like you cannot go on any longer. But then you should continue to push on. So what, what kind of response you get when you express it? Positive or yeah, negative? Um, so far, I've had positive um, reactions from my poetry quotes. I have yet to have someone say, OK, now you're messing up with my life. Why are your quotes saying? Yeah, so positive reactions so far. OK, so who is your inspiration? Do you have any inspiration? Yes, um, I do have a few. Um, it's RM Drake, Rupi Gal, HR Sin, Atticus. Yeah, the list goes on. Amanda Lovelace. There's so many. Yeah. Okay, so what are your plans for future? You want to uh, reach more audience, or you want your feelings and your thoughts to reach more people? Or uh, you just, or you just want to express because you just you wanted to express. Okay, so this started off as just wanting to express my feelings. I didn't think that I'd go anywhere with it, but then I realized that there are some people who need those words of encouragement once in a while. So I think I want 
in fact, I know that I want it to reach more people. So in the future, I just hope that I can have a large audience of people who would relate to my quotes and actually look up to them in their lives. So you, you frame sentences in seconds, right? Yeah. Can you tell me a sentence right now? A sentence? I got anything that you are observing right now. Um, <laughs> okay, but I really cannot do this when somebody is watching me. Um, I could say, okay, so I could give you one of the quotes that I haven't shared with anyone. Okay, so it starts like this. She held the burden of her truths and was weighed down by all her lies. She wasn't sad anymore. She was numb. And numb, she knew, was somehow worse. So that's a quote that I haven't shared with anyone, but I look up to it very deeply. I think you're, you're a keen observer. You, you observe things very deep, deeply. Thank you. I mean... Are you the person who spends a lot of time on reading things and observing things? Yes, I, I'm a very, what can I say? I like to, to look at other people's works and to find inspiration in them, which is one of the reasons why I also started um, playing the nerd, because then I felt that, okay, so I'm, I'm really feeling inspired by this and I also want to share my work so let's see if somebody can actually relate to this and relate to your feelings and then on the drawing part yes I do draw uh, you I forgot the question that was the important question that I should ask you okay. about writing about writing do you have anything to ask me I'm a writer too. You're a writer, yes. I well, I haven't exactly checked out your blogs, but I was looking at your videos last night, also on YouTube. So so far, yeah, it's impressive, and I like your the way you edit your videos. So yeah, uh, good work. Do you, yeah, I mean, have you seen any of the video? Have you? checked it or have you observed any sentences because you are a sentence framer right yes you frame you you, you create things what what do you yeah. what do you observed well i haven't checked out the um, sentences i had only watched the videos on youtube but i hadn't finished them all so i hadn't checked them out okay so what people say if they get connected with your ideas and thoughts? Sorry? What people say if they get connected with your thoughts and ideas? Okay, so far, so I've seen people my age, um, they're, they're relating to my quotes. Also, not only my age, I can say people, all the people that like, Let's say my mom's age group, yeah. I've found that there are older women who are also relating to my quotes and say that they really love them. So, yeah, I'm just glad that it's not only teenagers who are finding ways of encouragement in my quotes. Yeah. Are you extrovert? Am I? Are you ex extrovert? No. I'm I'm a major introvert. I just love my space. I prefer to be alone. When you are expressing it. Um. Yeah. I just prefer to be in my room, listening to the rain, listening to some music as I, as I draft out these quotes and try to play with these words and make it to drum on people's feelings in the positive way. Yeah. 
I saw it. I saw all your all your codes. I I yes. I was seeing myself uh, in those codes because Seriously? I used to write a lot. Yeah, I wrote about twenty five thousand codes. Twenty five thousand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why don't you publish them? No, I I used to put that in social networks like Facebook and okay. since uh, two thousand eleven. I started it yeah. and I, I I was like you. I used to express like you. Whatever if I'm seeing, I'm talking with you, like South African. Yeah. If I feel something, if if her expressions, her eyeball eyeball movements, yeah. uh, the way the the way she is telling her experience and about the, her words, whatever I understand, I'll express in my in social networks, especially in Facebook and Twitter. And I got thirty uh, thousand followers in Twitter. Since wow. uh, yeah, I I I was doing this since uh, last seven or eight years, and uh, then I stopped uh, writing. Actually, writing is my favorite thing. I I connected with a lot of uh, different thinking people. I yes. I don't even know their names. I don't even know where. Which country they they are from? They are which which state they are from? But they used to connect uh, with my thoughts and feelings, like you are doing right now, and you are yeah, giving responses. Really you you are giving responses for the thoughts that you expressing. You are giving responses for the people who are giving response for your thoughts. I I saw that yeah. and I was seeing I was seeing myself there. Even I used to do this. Uh, from long time, then I thought, uh, why can't I show my face? I why can't I use my vocal cord now? Why can't I play with the words uh, okay. using vocal vocal cord? Uh, till yeah. today, I uh, uh, till now I expressed and I made people to think about something which is positive, something. Which makes them to come out from their negative mood, or from their negative emotion, or from their negative imagination, or yes. negative thinking way, thinking process. That is what you are doing. So I was, I felt very happy to see a good writer. I I saw very good writings. I I'll see a lot of pages. I have habit of uh, watching the people who writes everything, but uh, yes. ev- everybody can write, but very few people can write good things, very positive things. And you know, I I am telling you, in coming days, you will get a lot of followers. If, even if you publish your book, also you you will get a lot of uh, sales. I can say this because. Uh, I Thank can understand. You. I can understand that from your writings. You are using very positive words, and uh, yeah, you said that uh, uh, words plays major role in human life. It can create and it can destroy. And ninety percent of the time, yes. even I used to write positive. Ten uh, percent, I just want to provoke uh, people using negative people, words. People, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I stir up provoking. their feelings. Yeah. Yeah. I love I love Thank provoking. Thank you so much. I saw that in you, but very less negative. And uh, you know what? The beautiful thing in writing, uh, you can tell the positive with negative words, and you can tell negative with positive words. And uh, exactly, it just depends on how you use your words, how you play your words. Yes. And uh, every person have his own way of expressing uh, his feelings and yes. his thoughts, yeah. right? And you know the the top writers in the world uh, whose books sell. Uh, if you see the topmost books sell in the world, all those people are connected with large number of audience with their writings. Yes. Their words connected with large number of people only because. They know what exactly works to create impact, to create effect. Yeah. And uh, exactly. I used to. <laughs> Ayn Rand is the woman. Uh, I hope you know her. She's a Russian woman. 
she taught yes. americans about america with her uh, book her books are the fountain head and uh, yes. the virtue of selfishness is one of the book wow. and uh, industrial revolution i think yeah and you write about feelings and thoughts i want you to write about more things like societal okay. issues like societal issues relationship uh, yeah i have seen you writing yeah. about relations uh, i want you to write about nature okay i want you to write about uh, anything that you observe and you are doing that but uh, there are people who watches you i'm i'm one of those from now thank you <laughs> i'm glad to have your support so what do you want to say at the end of this video i want to share this video with uh, my audience they are from india it might be few i started this channel uh, two, two months before and uh, uh, successfully i'm doing videos with different country people and everybody is showing the interest and uh, you when i said uh, you and uh, you never said no you came and uh, you share that, that actually shows uh, the the positive mindset that you have thank you you know i just think that as people we need to grab the opportunities that we are given because we don't know where in life it could possibly take us we just need to blindly trust in our instincts and just go with the flow what is your age um i'm 16 years how much mind do you think um how much you have to say i'm sorry i cannot hear you you have to say what do you think what do i think about how much do you think that my age is um how much i'm sorry i cannot hear you can you speak loud how, how old i am can you tell me i'm 16 years old me oh okay i think you let's say um 20 20 22 Okay, let's close video here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm 28. I have completed the uh, masters. Oh, in, wow. That's yeah, great. Yeah, and software engineering. I'm a sportsman. I played for a uh, state and national level tournament as a cricketer. Oh. Yeah. It's nice. Now I'm writing I'm writing and I'm talking. I thought uh, writing uh, writing made me to connect with a lot lot of people. Yes. Now th- talking is making me to connect with uh, different country people and I connected with you right now with the vocabulary that I have. Yeah, I I saw your your Instagram page. It has a lot of countries on the highlights. different people from different places all with different opinions which is great what do you think what do you, even you will be facing you will be connecting with uh, different different thinking people right and they will be sharing their thoughts and what do you what do you think about them because sometimes uh, uh, your th- their thoughts will not match with your thoughts their feelings will not match with your feelings and uh, yeah. what do you observe from this phenomena um i think it's just amazing that people can be able to share their different feelings and sometimes when i look at the um poetry and their quotes and i realize okay so this person is actually feeling what i'm feeling or sometimes maybe it's something i've never felt before and i can be able to say okay wow that's that's a feeling that i've never felt but i can understand where this person is coming from 
So it's an amazing thing to be able to share and express your feelings through these poetry quotes and yeah. Okay. I'll talk with you again if you give me time. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, you have, for having me. Yeah. Do you have anything to say at last of this video? Um, I, I just wanted to, to say um, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak with you. And to everyone who watched this video, thank you for taking the time to see this. And yeah, until next time, I guess. Yeah, thank you so much for giving your valuable time to me and uh, coming to talk with me. And can I put this video on YouTube? Yeah, you can. Definitely. Yeah, yeah take care. Have positive thoughts. Write more. You too. <laughs> Bye. Bye.